And despite the repeated threats of war coming from North Korea, South Korea's financial markets uh, remain calm. And in the case of foreign direct investments, not just calm, but thriving. For more, we are joined by our Kim Young Gil, who is standing by at the Arirang News Center. Now, Myung Gil, let's start with a quick check on the market conditions. Yes, Jie. Well, although the markets continue to thrive, still tensions here on the Korean Peninsula remain high. But you wouldn't know it by looking at the numbers. The benchmark KOSPI closed at nearly 1,950 points on Thursday, up 14.2 points from Wednesday. Shares listed on the main bourse lost ground last month. But the KOSPI started to gain traction again this week, curbing earlier concerns that the geopolitical risks would continue to weigh down the local stock markets. And we also hear that the amount of foreign direct investment pledged to South Korea in the first quarter surged as well. Yes, Sean, that's right. According to the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy on Thursday, the amount of foreign direct investment reached nearly 3.4 billion U.S. dollars in the first quarter this year, up from 2.35 billion dollars of the same period last year, a jump of nearly 45 percent. The ministry attributes the increase to a large surge in new foreign and direct investments from the U.S., which tripled from about $570 million to $1.7 billion in the first three months of the year. Michael, despite the positive numbers, there are concerns coming from foreign companies and investors here in the South. So how is the South Korean government handling that uncertainty? Yes, Chie, President Park Geun-hye promised foreign investors Thursday that South Korea will remain a safe and stable place to make investments despite the repeated war threats from North Korea. During a meeting with foreign business leaders, President Park stressed South Korea had overcome a number of similar security crises in the past. She also added that she believes foreign investors in South Korea trust the government's ability to overcome the situation. And in response, the participants expressed confidence in South Korea's handling of the situation and vowed to continue investing in the country. All right, thanks, Myung Gil. That was Chi Myung Gil reporting on the market conditions here amid North Korea's string of threats.